Shalom, 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 Israel. This is your King of Shepherd KD coming with another message of daily edification. Brought to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. All praises due. You know, uh, one of the biggest pleasures I have here is, um, you know, when I first started this, you know, they had some brothers and sisters alike that might knew some things about the Bible. Some didn't know nothing at all. But um, it's a blessing when you watched the men that have been here and the Aqua too, especially, that have been here, you know, for some years now. And they've grown up. And now... They start feeding you. <laughs> that's 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 a beautiful thing. Um, I love new information. I don't know everything, man. Um, as much territory as I've covered through these scriptures, still ain't scratched the surface, man. So it's always refreshing when uh, one of the brothers or even an aqua might send me something, man, that's new. I'm like, wow, I like that, you know. Um, that's 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 what being in this body is all about. The word is eternal. You're never going to be finished studying it. You're never going to be finished learning it. There's always something new, all right, as far as a revelation or a way that the word could be used to enhance things, enhance things and make it better. Um, got a treat for you today that I'd like to share with you. Um, this was actually brought to me by Sergeant Nasa Shalawam. All right. Sergeant Nasa, uh, a.k.a. Brother Russ. Y'all know Russ. Uh, he's a white boy, black boy. Uh, kind of creamy ponytail, you know, with them women cell tank. Got that good hair. <laughs> I'm going to fuck with you for about maybe 30 more seconds, Russ, so just chill out, man. Don't get mad, all right? Uh, you know, Russ, like, talk nigga proper. You know, he's a nigger, but just proper, you know. He when he rap, he got some rap tunes, man, on uh West Coast Assembly, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you know, Russ be like 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 gutter with it, but it's just like proper gutter. I ain't I can't say that, you know, I'm like, damn, how the fuck he do that? He mixed that shit in. Russ be like, I'm gonna sew your motherfucking neck off, you know. Russ, like, 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 pronounce every word when he cuss, you know what I mean? Motherfucker, you know? <laughs> All right, 29, 30. All right, Russ, I told you 30 seconds, man. I'm going to get up off you now. But, uh, Sergeant Nassau hit me with a, a, a passage, man. Um, and it's from the Lost Books. These brothers that bit into this Lost Books, man, like it's beef jerky. They can't get enough of it. It's like catnip. And, uh. He, he read me a passage, man, I've never read before. Um, fuck me up. So, I want to uh, share it with y'all, all right? So, the water sergeant, for being on your square, man, uh, this is a juicy passage, man. Just want to give you that, 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 uh, want to give you that kudos for that, man, because uh, it actually kind of ties into what was taught yesterday, you know, about people, the, 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 the levels of, of salvation all right so i want to get right into it this is from eh, fuck. all right <sighs> gotta clean my glasses off y'all um this is actually from the book of hermes it's one of the lost books all right if y'all ain't got that lost books app man you need to get that shit dude I'm telling you he lost books is the shit. Um, this is from the book of Hermas. Hermas, all right? And it's the third book. It's the third book of Hermas, which is called his Similitudes, chapter 8. The third book of Hermas, all right, uh, is Similitudes, chapter 8. Now, it's got a... Whew. 84 verses. I think we got enough time to cover it. All right. So here we go. 
really pretty self-explanatory, but I'll do a little explaining along the way. Y'all know how I do. All right, let's check it out. <clears throat> and it says that th this is the opening. Uh, they got an opening text right here, see? And then you notice where it starts at. It goes uh, 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 opening text, and then it started two and going down. All right. The third book of Hermas. All right. Chapter 8. It says that there are many kinds of elect and of repenting sinners, and how all of them shall receive a reward proportionable to the measure of their repentance and good works. So that's self explanatory. Everybody's salvation ain't the same. And whatever your proportion is, that's the measure that you're going to be saved. And that's the measure of the reward that you're going to receive. You dig? Again, he showed me a low which covered the fields and the mountains under whose shadow came all such as were called by the name of the Lord. So these are all the people. Okay. Verse two. And by that willow stood an angel of the Lord, very excellent and lofty, and did cut down bows from that willow with a great hook and reached out to the people that were under the shadow of that willow, little rods, as it were, about a foot long. And when all of them had taken them, he laid aside his hook, and the tree continued as entire, as I, as, as I had before seen it, at which I wondered and mused within myself. Then that shepherd said unto me, Forbear to wonder that the tree continues whole, Notwithstanding, so many bows have been cut off from it. But stay a little, for now it shall be shown thee what that angel means who gave those rods to the people. So he again demanded the rods of them, and in the same order that everyone had received them, was he called to him and restored his rod, which, had, which when he had received, he examined them. For some he received them dry and rotten, as it were touched with the moth. Those he commanded to be separated from the rest and placed by themselves. Others gave in their rods dry indeed, but not touched with the moth. These also he ordered to be set by themselves. Verse 7. Others in their rods half dry. These also were set apart. Others gave in their rods half dry and cleft. These two were set by themselves. Others brought in their rods half dry and half green, and these were in like manner placed by themselves. Others delivered up their rods two parts green and a third dry, and they too were set apart. Others brought their rods two parts dry and a third green and were also placed by themselves. Others delivered up their rods less dry, for there was but a very little to wit. Their tops dry, but they had clefts, and these were set in like manner by themselves. In the rods of others, there was but a little green and the rest dry, and these were set aside by themselves. Others came and brought their rods as green as, had they, as they had received them, and the greatest part of the people brought their rods thus, and the messenger greatly rejoiced at these, and they also were put apart by themselves. Verse 11. Others brought in their rods, not only green, but full of branches, and these were set aside, being also received by the angel with great joy. Others brought their rods green with branches, and those also came, and those also so, uh, fruit upon them. They who had such rods were very cheerful, and the angel himself took great joy at them. Nor was the shepherd that stood with me less pleased with them. Then the angel of the Lord commanded crows to be brought, and the crowns, no, select, salak, verse 13. Then the angel of the Lord commanded <coughs> crowns to be brought. And the crowns were brought made of palms. And the angel crowned those men 
in whose rods he found the young branches with fruit and commanded them to go into the tower. He also sent those into the tower in whose rods had found branches without fruit, giving a seal unto them. For they had the same garment, that is, one white as snow, with which he bade them go into the tower. And so he did to those who returned their rods green as he had received them, giving them a right garment. And he so sent them away to go into the tower. Having done this, verse 15, he said to the shepherd that was with me, I go my way, but do thou send these within the walls, everyone into the place in which he has deserved to do well, examining first their rods, but examine them diligently that no one will deceive thee. But, and if anyone shall escape thee, I will try them upon the altar. Having said this, the shepherd, he departed. Verse 16. After he was gone, the shepherd said unto me, let us take the rods from them and plant them. If perchance they may grow green again. I said unto him, sir, how can these dry rods ever go green again? He answered me, that tree is a willow and always loves to live. If therefore these rods shall be planted and receive a little moisture, many of them will recover themselves. Wherefore I will try and will pour water upon them. And if any of them come alive, I will rejoice with them. But if not, at least by this means I shall be found not to have neglected my part. Then he commanded me to call them, and they all came unto him, everyone in their rank in which he stood, and gave him their rods, which having received, he planted every one of them in their several orders. Verse 20. And after he planted them all, he poured much water upon them, insomuch that they were covered with water and did not appear above it. Then, when he had watered them, he said unto me, Let us depart. And after a while, after, after a little time, we will return and visit them. For he who creates this tree would have all those that lived, that lived, that received rods from us, and I hope now that these rods are thus watered. Many of them receiving in the moisture will recover. I said unto him, Sir, tell me what this tree denotes, for I am greatly astonished that after so many branches have been cut off, it seems still to be whole, nor does there anything the less of it appear to remain, which greatly amazes me. Verse 23. He answered, Hearken, this great tree which covers the plains and the mountains and all the earth is the law of the power published throughout the whole world, right? This law is the son of the power who is preached to all the ends of the earth. The people that stand under it, it that stand under its shadow are those who who have heard his preaching and believed. It's the law of liberty, y'all. 25. The great and venerable angel which you saw was Michael, who has the power over his people and governs them. For he has planted the law in the hearts of those who have believed. And therefore he visits them to whom he has given the law to see if they have kept it. And he examines everyone's rod. And of those, many that are weakened, for those rods are the law of the Lord, the law of liberty, y'all. Then he discerns all those who have not kept the law, knowing the place of every one of them. Verse 27, I said unto him, Sir, why did he send away some to the tower and left others here to you? He replied, those who have transgressed the law, which they perceive that they receive from him, are left in my power, that they may repent of their sins. But they who fulfill the law and kept it are under his power. Y'all hear that? So, right now, those that receive this law and keep it, 
you're under our power. Those that don't, you're under his power. All right? Now, verse 28. But who then, said I, are those who went into the tower crowned? He replied, all such as having striven with the devil have overcome him a crown. So if you in this body and not going through nothing, then don't expect no crown. All right. Those of you that are expect a crown. And they are those who have suffered hard things that they might keep the law. That's why you having such a hard time. You did 29. But they who gave up their who gave up their rods green with and with young branches, but without fruit, have indeed endured trouble for the same law, but have not suffered death. Neither have they denied their holy law. Verse 30. They who delivered up their rods green as they received them are those who were modest and just and have lived with a very pure mind and kept the commandments of the power. The rest thou shalt know when I shall have considered those rods which I have planted and watered. Verse 32. After a few days we return, we return, and in the same place stood that glorious angel, and I stood by him. Then he said unto me, Gird thyself with a note. All right? I mean, gird thyself with a towel and serve me. Verse 33. And I girded myself with a clean towel. I girded myself with a clean towel which was made of coarse cloth and when he and when he saw me girded and ready to minister unto him he said call those men whose rods have been planted every one in his order as i as he gave them and he brought me into the field and i called them and they all stood they all stood ready in their in their several ranks then he said unto them let everyone pluck up his rod and bring it unto me and they at first they delivered their theirs whose rods have been dry and rotten and those whose rods still continued so and he commanded to stand apart then they came then they came whose rods have been dry but not rotten some of these delivered in their rods green others dry and rotten and if they had been touched by the moth those who gave them up green he commanded to stand apart but those whose rods were dry and rotten he caused to stand with the first sort. Then came they whose rods had been half dry and cleft. Many of these gave up their rods green and uncleft. Others delivered them up green with branches and fruit upon the branches, like those who went crowned into the tower. Others delivered them up dry, but not rotten. And some gave them up as they were before, half dry and cleft. Every one of these he ordered to stand apart, some by themselves, others in their respective ranks. Verse 39. Then came they whose rods had been green but cleft. These delivered their rods altogether green and stood in their own order. And the shepherd rejoiced at these because they were all changed and free from their clefts. Then they gave in their rods he who had them half green and half dry. Of these some were found wholly green, others half dry, others green, with young shoots, and all these were sent away, every one to his proper rank. Then they gave up their rods who had them before two green parts, green and the third dry. Many of these gave in their rods green, many half dry, the rest dry but not rotten. So these were sent away, each to his proper place. Then came they who had before their rods two parts dry, and the third green Many of these delivered up their rods half dry, others dry and rotten, others half dry and cleft, but few green. And all these were set, every one in his own rank. Then they reached in their rods. They reached in their rods, in which there was before but a little green and the rest dry. Their rods were for the most part found green, having little bows with fruit upon them, and the rest all together green. Verse 44. And the shepherd upon the side of these rejoiced exceedingly because he had found them thus. And they also went to their proper orders. 
Now, after he had examined all their rods, he said unto me and told thee that this tree loved life. Thou seest how many have repented and attained unto salvation. Sir, I said, I see it, that thou mightest know, saith he, that the goodness and mercy of the Lord is great, and to be had in honor, who gave his spirit to them that were found worthy of repentance. I answered, Sir, why then did not all of them repent? He replied, Those who minds the Lord foresaw would be pure, and that they would serve him with all the hearts, to them he gave repentance. But for those whose deceit and wickedness he beheld, he perceived that they would not truly return unto him. To them he denied any return unto repentance, lest they should gain they should again blaspheme his law with wicked words. It's the Pharisees, y'all. I say unto him now, Sir, make known unto me what is this place of every one of who have given up their rods and and what their portion, that when they may have not kept the seal entire, but have wasted the seal which they received, shall hear and believe these things, they may acknowledge their evil deeds and repent, and receiving again the seal from you may give glory to the power that he was moved with compassion toward them and sent you to renew their spirits. Hearken, he said, said he, they whose rods have been found dry and rotten, and as it were touched with a moth, are the deserters and the betrayers of the church, who with the rest of their crimes have also blasphemed the Lord and denied his name, which have been called upon them. Therefore all these are dead unto the power, and thou seest that none of them have repented, although they have heard my commands, which thou hast delivered unto them. For these men, therefore, life is far distant. They also who have delivered up their rods, but not rotten, have not been far from them. For they have been counterfeits and brought in evil doctrines and have perverted the servants of the power. But especially those who had sinned and suffering them to return unto repentance, but keeping them back by their false doctrines. All right, 54. These therefore have hope. And thou seest that many of them have repented since the time that thou hast laid my command before them, and many more will yet repent, but they shall not repent, shall lose both repentance and life. But they that have repented, their place has begun to be within the first walls, and some of them are even gone into the tower. Thou seest therefore, said he, that in the repentance of sinners there is life, but for those who repent not, death is prepared. Here now concerning those who have gave in their rods half dry and full of clefts. Those whose rods were only half dry are the doubtful, for they are neither living or dead. But they who delivered in their rods, not only half dry but also full of clefts, are both doubtful and evil speakers, who detract from those who are absent, and have never peace among themselves, and that envy one another. Howbeit to those also repentance is offered, for thou seest that some of these have repented. Now all those of this kind who have quickly repented shall have a place in the tower, but they who have been more slow in their repentance shall dwell within the walls, but they shall not repent, but shall continue on in their wicked doings, shall die in the death, shall die the death. Verse 60. As for those who had been who had their rods green, but yet cleft, they are such as were always faithful and good, but they have some envy and strife among themselves concerning dignity and preeminence. Now all such are vain and without understanding as contend with one another about these things. Nevertheless, seeing they are otherwise good, and when they shall hear these commands, they shall amend themselves and shall at my persuasion suddenly repent, they shall at least dwell in the tower as they who have truly and worthily repented. But if anyone shall again return to his dissension, he shall be shut out from the tower and shall lose his life. For the life of those who keep the commandments of the Lord consists in doing what they are commanded, not in principality or in any other dignity. For by forbearance and humility of mind, men shall attain unto life. But by seditions and contempt of the law, they shall purchase death unto themselves. Verse 65. 
They who in their rods had half dry and half green are those who are engaged in many affairs of the world and are not joined to the saints, for which cause half of them liveth and half is dead. Wherefore, many of these, since the time that they have heard my commands, have repented and begun to dwell in the tower, but some of them have wholly fallen away. To these there is no more place for repentance. For by reason of their present interest, they have blasphemed and denied the power. And for this wickedness, they have lost life. And of these, many are still in doubt. These may yet return. And if they shall quickly repent, they shall have a place in the tower. But if they shall be more slow, they shall dwell within the walls. But if they, sh they shall not repent, they shall die. As for those who had two, verse 68, parts of their rods green and the third dry, they have by, meant, they have by manifold ways denied the Lord of those, of those many have repented and found a place in the tower, and many have altogether departed from the power. These have utterly lost right, life. And some, being in a doubtful state, have raised up dissensions. These may yet return, if they shall suddenly repent and not continue in their lust. But if they shall continue in their evil doing, they shall die. Verse 70. They who gave in their rods two parts dry and the other green are those who have indeed been faithful, but with all rich and full of good things, and thereupon have desired to be famous among the heathen which are without, and have thereby fallen into great pride and begin to aim at high matters and to forsake the truth, nor were they joined to the saints, but lived with the heathen, and this life seemed the more pleasant to them. Howbeit, they have not departed from the power, but continued in the faith, only they have not wrought the works of faith. Many, therefore, of these have repented and begun to dwell in the tower. Yet others, still living among the heathen people and being lifted up with their vanities, have utterly fallen away from the power and follow the works and wickedness of the heathen. These kind of men, therefore, are reckoned among the strangers to the gospel. Verse 73. Others of these began to be doubtful in their minds, despairing by reason of their wicked doings ever to attain unto salvation. Others being thus made doubtful did moreover stir up dissensions. To these, therefore, and to those who by reason of their doings are become doubtful, there is still hope of return, but they must repent quickly that their place may be in the tower. But they that repent not, but continue still in their pleasures, are nigh unto death. Verse 75. As for those who gave in their rods, green, excepting their, their tops, which only were dry and had clefts, these were always good and faithful, upright before the power. Nevertheless, they sinned a little by reason of their empty pleasures and trifling thoughts which they had within themselves. Wherefore, many of them, when they heard my words, repented forthwith and began to dwell in the tower. Nevertheless, some grew doubtful, and others to their doubtful minds added dissensions. To these, therefore, there is still hope of return, because they were always good, but they shall not hardly be moved. 77. After those lastly who gave in their rods dry, their tops, their tops accepted, which alone were green, they are such as have believed indeed of the power and power, but have lived in wickedness, yet without departing from the power, having always willingly borne the name of the Lord and readily received unto their houses the servants of the power. Wherefore, hearing these things, they returned and without delay repented and lived in all righteousness, and some of them suffered death. Others readily underwent many trials, being mindful of their evil doings. Verse 79. And when he had ended these expl explications of all the rods, he said unto me, Go, and say unto all men that they repent, and that they shall live unto the power, because the Lord, being moved with great clemency, has sent me to preach repentance unto all, even unto those who by reason of their evil doings deserve not to attain unto salvation. But the Lord will be patient and keep the invitation that was made by his son. I said unto him, Sir, I hope that all when they shall hear these things will repent, for I trust that everyone acknowledging his crimes and taking up the fear of the Lord will return unto repentance. He said unto me, Whosoever shall repent with all their hearts 
and cleanse themselves from all the evils that I have before mentioned, and not add anything more to their sins, shall receive from the Lord the cure of their former iniquities. Ah, if they shall not make any doubt of these commands and shall live unto the power, but they that shall continue to add to their transgressions and shall still converse with the lust of the present world shall condemn themselves unto death. But do thou walk in these commands, and whosoever shall walk in these and exercise them rightly shall live unto the power. And having shown me all these things, they said, I will show thee the rest in a few days. All right, I read for you 84 verses. There's a lot in there. I urge y'all to get the lost books and go through that yourself. All right? I'm going to explain it in more detail in the next video. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. I'll set y'all on the flip side. KD out. Shalom.